All right, welcome back everyone. It's Snow High here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And this will be showing you guys how to get the Legendary Vladal Pistol, exclusive to the Bounty of Blood DLC, the Miscreant. Red text is, why waste time, shoot, light, gun, when few gun, do trick? Question mark. To be honest with you, when I first read that red text, I thought I was having an aneurysm. Turns out that's actually how it was written. Uh, plus 33% weapon damage, plus 33% weapon fire rate, 2.2 times weapon zoom, damage is 12,064, accuracy 74%, handling is 58%, reload time is 2.5 seconds, fire rate is 10.16 a second with a 12 mag, I'm 20 mag size, my bad. This one here has no elemental damage. You can get it in non-elemental, fire, corrosive shock, and radiation. In order to get this weapon, we're going to be farming an enemy a boss called the Quartermaster. Uh, just follow where I go here on the map and you will get to where you need to go. Now, uh, in order to get to this boss, you will need to get progress to the story until you get to the quest called Where It All Started. So that is the quest you will need to get to. It is a story quest within the DLC. Get to that quest, you have to fight the Quartermaster. Then after that, he will become farmable. Get to right here on the map, drop down into this hole, and you will start the fight against the Quartermaster. And I am going to cut a little bit of the fight out here. It's a pretty easy fight, to be honest, if you, have the, if you have the right setup. But I did get it here on this first kill. As you can see here in just a second, I get the drop right here. Now, what the... Oh, also, I completely forgot to mention, you probably saw it on the map, but this is located in Blood Sun Canyon. You, you don't want to fast travel to the station farther along within the map. Uh, now, what this weapon does, it is a full, it shoots full auto rockets, and it has an alternate fire that is a double barrel that basically just allows it to shoot faster. When you use the double barrel, it just basically makes it to where the rockets and the gun has a higher fire rate in general. Now, uh, in terms of if this weapon is good, yeah, I think this weapon's pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as the light show. But I feel like on the right character, this can be an even better weapon. It's pretty good here on Amara. I'm enjoying it. But like I said, in the right hands, this gun, I feel like, could be really good. Uh, what character is that? I think Moe's would be very good for this weapon. Uh, it doesn't say splash damage on the card. But I'm going to go ahead and assume that this weapon does splash damage. I mean, it literally shoots rockets and you can see the splash. I'm assuming this weapon does splash damage. Now it might not, but if this, uh, feel free to, all you Moe's players out there, feel free to let me know in the comment section if this weapon is really good on Moe's. That would be my guess. My guess is that this weapon is really good on Moe's. If you're using like a splash damage Moe's build, this uh, weapon could excel for sure on Moe's. But from what I can tell on all characters, this weapon seems to be pretty good. I mean, even here on Amara, I'm still putting in work with this weapon. Uh, it's struggling a little bit against the, the shielded target here. Once I get through that shield, it's pretty easy from there on out. But yeah, this weapon is pretty good. You can get it in multiple different elements, get one that suits whatever you're doing. And yeah, I definitely, I, I feel like I recommend this weapon. And specifically, if it does work on Moe's, like I said, you should definitely go out and get it and try it out for a Splash Damage Moe's build. Unfortunately, I don't really have a Moe's set up for that, and my, I haven't got, uh, I only have my Flak and Amara at level 60 at the moment, because I've been working on all these new videos and stuff. Uh, my Moe's will be next, though. My Moe's, I'm going to get her to level 60 really quickly, but I'm going to start on that right after this video, and get her up there. That way I'll have her in case I want to do some testing and stuff on her. And apparently she's really good right now. All you Moe's players can probably... Uh, tell me all about that, but apparently Moe's is like in a really good place right now. I need to try her out as soon as I get a chance. But yeah, that's all I have in this video. Well, real quick, uh, like I've been saying the last two videos, uh, tomorrow we will have a new little series that I'm starting. Uh, it will be on Borderlands 1. It will not be a playthrough. I'm not going to give any more away, that, away than that until Saturday. But... Uh, one other thing I will throw in here is that the gameplay will be on PC. I got my character set up well enough on PC that I can actually start recording on there. And we're going to try to start doing all my Borderlands 1 farming on there. So yeah, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.